Winners of the recently held Island Champs Track and Field Championships were presented with their prize monies, trophies and medals during ceremonies at the respective schools. St. Joseph's Convent emerged winners of the girls' division. And also to commend you, St. Joseph's Convent, and to tell you to continue to be the epitome of success. Continue to show that the prowess you have in the academics will be transferred into the sport and you will show that you are number one in both academics and sports. Principal of St. Joseph's Convent, Sister Rufina Donat, motivated her students highlighting that many former students were able to go off on scholarships overseas because of their involvement in sports. We have students out there on volleyball scholarships. We have students out there on track and field. We can look at um, Merkiba Alcidium with the name, um, Jeanette Shaper, and there were many others who are out there right now. Um, Rochelle is also out, and we have students on football. So I'm saying to you, look at your situation, look at your talent, look at your gifts. Don't just sit there, it's hard work. Some of you don't like doing the training, but the training pays off and it will also do well for you. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Development and Sports, Mary Wilfred, congratulated the school for their continued high standard in inter-school athletics. On behalf of the Minister and the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, along with the technical officials, First National Bank, and all the other stakeholders, the Ministry of Education, we would like to extend hearty congratulations to the girls' chance this year. St. Joseph's Convent. <laughs> VFO Comprehensive Secondary School were the boys' champs. Tishana Jeffers, Marketing and Communications Manager, First National Bank, title sponsors of Island Champs 2024, spoke during their check presentation and encouraged the school to continue excelling in all their endeavors. I just want to encourage you to continue, um, you know, making sporting and your curricular, your extracurricular activities a part of you. Because, I mean, as you can see, Julian Alfred, a national of St. Lucia, a brand ambassador to First National. She just went out and conquered the whole world. And I'm sure the next Julian Alfred is somewhere inside here. Somewhere. <laughs> and so I will be looking forward to seeing what V4 Comprehensive has to bring because First National has made a commitment not only to youth but to sports and social development in St. Lucia. Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal announced that the Ministry of Education was taking a different approach to the mix of sports and education. The Ministry of Education, we do understand very well that the 21st century child, 21st century generation, we cannot approach sports and education like we used to do 20, 40 years ago. There is what you call a social evolution that is taking place. There is a pedagogical evolution that is taking place. And then we want you to be part of it. So that's why the integration of sports, the integration of education and other um, cultural activities will be what will drive the 21st century to experience true success. Deputy Principal Lydia Shallery expresses school's gratitude for all involved in the school's success at Island Champs. We thank you so much for giving us this check, you know, in developing our athletes that can always go along with so we thank you for that. And on behalf of my principal, our PCA president, and all our staff members, and our student body who made this happen, and who made this happen? First National Bank presented prize monies of 20,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars to each of the winning schools. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.